Hello, I'm Sam Cairns and I'm co-director of the Cultural Learning Alliance. The Cultural Learning Alliance exists to champion a right to arts and culture for every child. And I'm going to talk briefly about our understanding of the current cultural learning or arts and culture landscape and a little bit about the evidence and the value of arts learning and what we think we need to ensure in terms of children's education in the coming year. In terms of the landscape, at the moment as I speak, Every school in England and across the UK is shut. and We don't know when they're going to be reopening. We could be looking at a 1st of June or September opening, but one thing is really clear is that there will have been learning loss, that children who have not been in schools, who have not been experiencing the structured learning activities that they would have done within school will not have learnt as much. And that's a particular concern because what we're expecting, and the Education Endowment Foundation has done a lot of work on this and has also published some reports, is that children who are experiencing disadvantage will also have learnt less than their wealthier peers during this period, which means that when schools return there is going to be a much greater gap. At the moment the Education Endowment Foundation is estimating that any gains that we've made in the last decade will have been lost and we'll be back where we were 10 years ago in terms of the gap between the poorest and the wealthiest children. What that means is when schools return is they're going to need to focus on closing this gap and we expect that will be a focus on literacy and numeracy and possibly science. From our point of view that means that arts may not be part of the solution, that schools who are not experienced at using arts based learning to support children's literacy and and their general enjoyment and love of learning and behaviours that support learning, if you're not a school that knows how to do this and you're under a lot of pressure at the moment this could be something that means that arts is not part of children's education and at a time when possibly they need it even more because the other role of the arts as well as supporting learning is to improve children's well-being and there's a really strong evidence base around the role of different types of art forms to develop different types of health and well-being. Um, for example we know that drama can develop empathy and social skills and um, that that engaging in jar and dance can really help with the health and well-being particularly of young women around their sense of self-efficacy and self-image and there's a whole range of different bits of arts interventions that can support different areas if you're looking for the evidence base around this and for the information on specific things around which type of art form and which type of well-being if you go to our website which is culturallearningalliance.org.uk click on the evidence tab and into our key research findings there are 10 key findings around the value of arts education and within each one of those it links through to the further studies the information and the detail i'll also provide some links to other organisations that collate information. Culturecase.org from King's College is a good one to look at and there's also the Health and Wellbeing Alliance. So arts have a real role I think going forward in schools in terms of supporting children's learning, in improving outcomes in reading and literacy, in enthusing and exciting children and also supporting their wellbeing because the other thing the schools who have reopened in places like China reporting is that children who've been away from school for a long time have experienced trauma, that it has been difficult for them in, in a myriad of different ways and that's not even when you start thinking about children who maybe have been experiencing very difficult home life um, while the shutdown has been in place which might who might need additional support. So the role of arts within a curriculum and within your school's pedagogy is something I think to think very carefully about at the moment and think about the different ways it can support children, family and staff well-being. In terms of thinking about what's going to be coming down the line, we were expecting an arts premium um, to be introduced at secondary schools in 2021, which at the moment is still included in the Department for Education's um, budget lines, and that could be something that's still on the cards and worth looking out for because that will be ring fence money for arts projects. And the other thing to look out for is there's been a big randomised control trial being run by the Education Endowment Foundation in partnership with the RSA called Learning About Culture, and that has been looking at the value of arts based interventions for improving literacy outcomes for children in primary school. That was due to be published this autumn. I don't know if that's still going ahead on time or whether it'll be next year, but that's going to be a really rich resource for understanding the role of arts education at primary level and the ways in which you can use it to improve outcomes. And also there's going to be a, a process evaluation alongside it which will actually look about the mechanics of introducing things and, and benefits. So I would recommend keeping an eye on the Education Endowment Foundation website as well as reading their discourse. On the Cultural Learning Alliance website, we are going to be publishing blogs and information around thinking about 
what happens next in education and what arts education needs to be focusing on and considering. But the thing thought I will leave you with is that actually the thing to focus on at the moment is people. Art always survives. Humans make art as part of who we are. But actually focusing on people and upon your own values and the mission of whichever organisation you work for is where I think we should really keep our eyes on at the moment. And I hope that you will stay safe and our very best wishes to you all.